Today we are going to be looking at our two-way zero integration with a focus on how we can use the zero to build exact direction to import bills from your zero account and allocate them to costs in jobs that you have running in build exact. This video is going to build on previous training content regarding purchase orders to record actual costs in build exact. So it'd be a great idea to check that content out before proceeding. Now in this video, we'll be looking at an overview of how the two-way integration with Xero works, how to set up the integration, how to import bills in Xero to certain job expenses in BuildExact, and also how to link bills in Xero to existing purchase orders in BuildExact. So we're going to start by having a quick overview. And what this uh, represents here is the existing build exact to zero direction, which has historically been the direction within which our integration has worked. Within the chart below, you can see how expenses recorded in build exact via the purchase order workflow can be synced across to zero to be created as draft bills. And similarly, customer invoices raised within build exact can be synced across to zero as a draft sale. Now, what we have now added is the ability to import bills that are already in Xero back into Build Exact and map these expenses to the cost tracking area of your jobs in Build Exact. Now, essentially, what this means is that if your bills are being populated in Xero first, you can now feed this back into Build Exact for cost tracking purposes. So, how do we set up this new integration option? To enable the integration from zero to build exact, we first need to have the connection established between the two systems. If you need support in doing this, it is explained in our accounting software video that is located on our website's video tutorials page. You can also access in-depth help articles regarding this from our help center's FAQ area, or as a hot tip, you can also access this content just by clicking on the need help button within the platform itself. So now that we have the connection between Zero and Build Exact established, to enable the two-way sync, I'm going to click on the settings cog just here. And I'm going to click on the Zero to Build Exact settings option. By enabling this uh, option here, we'll allow bills to be imported into Build Exact. And we've got some other options that need to be considered as well. The first one is the selecting of accounting codes. Now, this will allow you to choose the accounting codes in Xero that bills will be imported from. By default, all accounting codes will be enabled. Uh, in this case, though, as I have a lot of bills in my Xero account that aren't job related, I'm going to highlight the materials accounting code so that bills relating to this code will then be included in the importing process. Further down, we've got options for tracking categories. So if you are using tracking categories in Xero uh, to track your job, uh, your jobs or your actual costings, you can certainly select those here. Finally, the attachment settings enabled will mean that any document attachments in Xero to specific bills can then also be transferred across to Build Exact as well uh, when we're creating purchase orders. Okay, so now that the integration is set up, we can head over to the jobs tab and click on the imported bills tab, which will now appear at the bottom of this list. And by clicking on this imported bills tab, Build Exact will now scan your Xero account and show all the bills that are attributed to the selected accounting codes uh, that have been entered into your integration settings. This list will show all the bills related to those accounting codes that have been created or modified in Xero within the last 30 days. And this list will include all bills with an approved awaiting payment or paid status in Xero. So we can see uh, the bill as a whole here, uh, showing the contact, the invoice number, the date, the uh, total amount, and whether or not it has yet been paid by Xero uh, along with an option to ignore the bill if it's not relevant. We can also see three boxes that we can use to map this bill to a specific job, category, and item that you have within Build Exact. Now, in this example of this bill here, I'm going to have a look at the line items that are included in this bill by selecting View Line Items. I can see this is related to a frame hardware expense. 
I can also further uh, have a look at the bill itself by clicking on view attachments, which will include the attached invoice file from zero. As you can see, I'm just using a standard uh, stock image of an invoice there. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is once I know which uh, job this expense belongs to, I can start actually mapping that information back into Build Exact by selecting the relevant job, uh, the relevant category as well, and even the item within the category that this expense relates to. And now that I've made all those selections, if I hit Create Order, it will create a received purchase order with all the invoice information included. And now all I need to do is provide this purchase order with a description, assign it to a contact, and hit Save and Close. I can see that the invoice that has been imported from Zero is already attached to this purchase order. So by hitting save and close, that will finalize the process and it will drop off of the list. Now that purchase order has been created, let's actually have a look at it. So I'm gonna go into the job that I mapped this expense to, and I'm going to find the actual costing category. And we can see that the item of frame hardware has that purchase order assigned next to it. Another option that I selected in the integration settings uh, from earlier before, as you might recall, was the option to import uh, any attachments in zero to be included in the purchase order uh, within Build Exact, which will enable all the information that's relevant to this expense to be stored in both systems. Now, if we go back to the imported bill screen, we might see another example of a bill here that in fact has multiple different uh, items. If you get into a situation where you do have an invoice that's relating to different jobs or even different categories within the same job, you can actually have a look at the items uh, individually on the bill and map those to different jobs, different categories and different items using much the same process I did for the, uh, for the total bill as a whole. In the final part of our video, we're going to have a look at how we can import bills from zero and actually assign them against existing purchase orders that have been raised within Build Exact. So in this situation within this job, I have already sent out a purchase order to my plumber for some plumbing works that I needed to get done. And now that that's been sent out and the plumbing has been completed, they've now sent me an invoice, which has gone into my zero account. And the objective here is to now map the imported bill from zero against this existing purchase order. So the process is actually much the same. We're going to go to our jobs tab and back to our imported bills tab. We'll find the invoice that's relating to the plumbing, which I can see here. And the process again is to map the uh, invoice to the particular job and the particular category. I can also map it against that line item in my actual costing screen. Now, the only difference here is that instead of hitting create order to basically create a brand new purchase order, I want to actually link it to the order that I've already raised. So I'm going to click on link to an existing order. Build Exact will then find any orders that are related to this job, this category, and this item, which is listed here. I can click on that uh, purchase order and hit next. And what that's going to do is it's basically going to import the invoice information. I can see the invoice uh, noted here and also down here as well. And what this is showing me is the original line item that I placed in my purchase order. It's also showing me the line item that has been imported from zero, which is what we've actually paid. Now that I can see those two line items, the idea here is to remove the one that was originally in the purchase order, leaving only the actualized expense here, which is attached to the invoice imported from zero. Now, in terms of what to do next, as you can see, this purchase order is now in a status of part received. That's appropriate if there's going to be further invoices coming in 
uh, relating to this line item. But as it's the case that I've spent all the money I expect to on this line item, I can come down and mark this as fully received. And in that way, I've been able to import a bill from zero and attach it to an existing purchase order. So that just about does it for this video. Uh, as always, if you need any help or support, please feel free to reach out to us by clicking on the Need Help button. Uh, you can talk to our support team or even book in a time with one of our custom success members for a one-on-one -on -one Zoom training call. Thank you very much. See you soon. Thank you.